What is going on everybody on YouTube and welcome back to Bandito Resales 25 days of resale deals for this holiday season. Once again I'm getting a little bit behind but we are getting this one up to you here on the 15th for the 14th. And for this video we are going to talk about blender parts. So this may not necessarily be a high dollar item on its own. However, if you're able to find an entire blender at a thrift store and part it out, you can make some pretty good money. And I've done just that myself before. So I want to give you an idea of what you can do uh, and how you can sell things in order to make the most bang for your buck. So the first thing we see here is a Ninja, Ninja Professional Blender 1000 BL610 blade. This is basically just the center blade from a Ninja Blender, sold for $15.68 with free shipping. This is generally a first class item, probably ships for that $5.68, so you make $10 minus fees, say you make 8 bucks after that. Not a lot of money in just the blade, but you're going to see how if you've got an entire blender for anywhere between 5 and 10 bucks, you're going to make a lot bigger of a profit parting it out in this way. All right, so moving on to the next thing, and again, these are going to be for the Ninja, and that is going to be true of a large portion of the items I'm going to show you today. But in this case, this is the 32-ounce and 24-ounce cup with their lids uh, and the seven fins extractor. As you can see, everything there in the photo. A lot of people that have the Ninja that kind of looks like the Magic Bullet may use this, but there's also a lot of people that get these parts and just don't use them at all. This is a set sold for $32 expedited shipping. I would guess probably cost about 10 bucks to ship these together, so $22 minus fees. Let's say let's say 15. We'll go conservative on that. So so far we've made 15 and 8, so that's $23 just on those two parts. If you paid 5 bucks for that blender, great profit there and you still have the base. All right, moving on to the next thing and that is this 72 ounce pitcher lid blade with replacement parts so this is the actual pitcher with the blade and the blender so everything but the motor base this sold for $65.99 plus $13.99 in shipping so as you can see just taking that away from the motor base sold for quite a bit of money and more importantly it made this significantly cheaper to ship which increased the amount of buyers that were willing to pay that for it those motor bases tend to weigh quite a bit, and you're going to make more money selling them individually because you're able to use cubic shipping. All right, on to the next thing, and it looks like I was just searching there, so let's move on here. All right, this is an Oster Regency Blender Kitchen Center Food Processor Attachment with Pusher in the almond color. I have actually sold this myself. However, I sold this piece, and then this piece, and then this piece all separate, and I believe I got about 20 for each piece, so that's $60. In this case, they bundled up these three pieces, and this is not a sold listing, but it is watched. It's listed for $35.10 plus shipping. All right, on to the next. We are back to Ninja, and I would say out of all blender items, this is one of the most common things I will sell. And I will pick up a Ninja just in order to get the lid, because the lid is big money. As you can see here, this lid sold for $29.99 plus $6.90 shipping. If it is a Ninja Blender, almost every time the lid will make your money back for you. So just keep that in mind. If you see a Ninja Blender, it's worth picking up because the lid is in the you know the money is in the lid, and then you'll make additional money with the actual blender, the blade, and the motor base possibly. I will admit the motor base is the hardest part to sell. And as you can see here, this person is out of stock. They sold eight of these. So eight times 30, eight times three, 24, $240 they made just off of eight of these lids. Even if you bought eight blenders for five bucks a piece and had $40 into it, still a huge profit. All right, moving on to the next is the Vitamix blender base. Now, the Ninja bases honestly don't move that well. Vitamix is a little bit different. It's a slightly higher end blender. A lot of times they're also used in commercial settings and replacement parts are insanely expensive. Whereas you may be able to get an entire new Ninja blender for a hundred bucks. It's not gonna happen with Vitamix. You're anywhere from 500 to thousands of dollars for a Vitamix blender. So in this case, this one sold for $75 plus $27.85 shipping. 
As you can see, I'm in Missouri and that's in Texas, so that's not that far to ship and it's pretty high, but this is a heavy item. Again, if you are shipping something like this, utilize pirate ship and make sure you switch to cubic shipping and you're most likely going to pay a significant amount less. This should easily fit in a 12 by 12 by 12 box, so it would be eligible for that shipping rate. All right, on to the next thing, and we have this Ninja Ultima system base. Uh, this system, a little less well-known, I would say, in the Ninja world, and I believe it's quite a bit older. The base definitely looks older to me. All of that being said, this sold for $49.95, but free shipping. Uh, even with that cubic shipping, you're still probably looking at a good 20 to 30 bucks to ship. This, though, was sold at auction with one bid. I would re definitely recommend charging shipping on these items, though, because it's so unpredictable. If you were, say, in Florida and needed to ship this to California, it's going to cost more to ship than what you just sold it for. All right, on to another Ninja Blender piece. And like I said, the lid sold for $29.99. Now here's a picture that was listed separately for $34.99. My guess is they accepted an offer of at least $25, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was $30. Plus shipping, uh, it looks so low here because again, I'm in Missouri and this is from Chicago, not far distance at all. This particular blender is not even in the greatest condition. You can kind of see from the pictures it's marked up, it's got some scratches. Uh, Ninja's products are pretty good about the numbers staying on there, but they definitely get some wear. You'll see some scratches on there, especially if somebody blended some ice and it kind of shot around on the inside. But say this sold for $30 and the other one sold for $29.99, you know, that's $60 right there in a blender that you probably paid $5 to $10 for. All right, on to the next thing is another Ninja Blender replacement piece, but this is a grading disc. Uh, used as a food processor attachment. Most likely this came with a unit that somebody bought and they just don't plan on using it for grading anything, so they did this to get some of their money back. Uh, as you can see here, they have one available, but one did sell for $24.50 plus $5 shipping. All right, and finally we move on to our last piece, and that is this Ninja Ultima Blender Replacement Blade. You can see the different model numbers there that this is good with. Sold for $18 plus $7.19 in shipping. Uh, very similar to our first item here, but they actually charge shipping. So my guess is this person could have sold this original one also for $15 to $20 plus shipping, but they didn't. So that is all I have for you today talking about blender replacement parts. We will see you tomorrow for a little more of the 25 days of resale deals. If you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you, and we'll see you on the next.